kryptonauts were back. Today, let's talk about Raptorium. Why I got into it, how I'm doing with it, and some lessons learned. Again, I am no expert by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just, I, like I say, uh, figure it out as you go, right? Whack-a-mole. If I screw up, find out what's wrong, find a way around it, find a solution. So like most of you, the whole crypto space, from investing to mining to doing this hardware stuff to YouTube, is it's a fire hose of knowledge. It's, it's overwhelming. There's so much to digest. And sometimes you don't know where to start. Best thing is just to watch everything. It's like throw all of it on the wall and see what sticks. You're going to fail. You're never going to learn unless you fail. But you are going to fail. It's going to take time. You're not going to have the optimal time acquired or dedicated to this to learn. You're going to make mistakes and lose time. But that's how it goes. That's life. For me, like anyone else, I read lots of YouTube videos. People jumped in Raptorium. The pros to me were... The CPU costs weren't terrible compared to GPUs. The heat created by the CPUs was not comparable to the GPUs. No need for a grow tent. All the extra ecosystem uh, hardware parts, all that crap you need. You didn't need to really set up for a uh, CPU mining rig. It's just a box, a motherboard. CPU, boom, untethered. You can even use wireless right here. I'll show you. Boom. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. Uh, I got a box. It came in. I got the motherboard. I got the Ryzen 9 3900. This one happens to have a GPU on it. And then I got a power supply and a memory stick. That is it. And there's not much heat. And it's running. You know, it's like this one. Here's a Ryzen 9. Let's see if I can focus. 3900. Look at this thing. It is bare bones. Wi-Fi card from 2013 is in the back. Sorry, there's no light on that. Little 3200 speed memory stick. And I got a cheapy little Kingston SDD SATA drive. And uh, that is it. And a power supply. An Ars game. $59 power supply. 750 bronze. I don't care. It's bronze. It works. It does the job. There. The pros of... CPU mining was the, the barrier to entry, the low cost, comparatively to GPU mining. Raptorium had its own miner, CPU miner G. XM rig 6.16 was what I was using, and also using uh, CPU miner G. So I started out with Flockpool. I liked Flockpool. Flockpool is the big boy in town right there. Raptorium, it was a high 40s. High 40s, I'm sorry. High 0.04 cents. It wasn't quite 5 cents when I started. Let me focus for you. It was like 0.04, high 0.04 cents, right? Close to 5 cents. Now we're down like 25 plus percent to 0.03. Uh, yeah, interesting. A lot of things are red right now. I mean, let's zip over real quick. Bum, bum, bum. Sea of red, baby. The sea of red. Luna's up. So whatever Luna is, right? They're just, I'll be honest, guys. There are too many coins. Way too many coins. Stick with, I'd say stick in the top. I don't know. Just stick with the top ones because coins will go away. And then if you held, it's gone. You're out. Sorry, you can declare a loss on your taxes, but IRS doesn't care about losses. All right. We're moving on here. So we got Raptorium, the low cost entry, low heat, low power supply. You can plug a bunch of motherboards and CPUs off one circuit and not worry about uh, blowing circuits or tripping circuits. You know what I mean? That was my interest. And then they even were saying, some videos were saying you're more profitable re, uh, return on investment with CPU mining than GPU. GPU is a bear. You got to hook it up. Like I said, you got to deal with the heat. You got to have the power. You got to make sure you have the right wires, the cables. You're not cheaping out. You're not using cheapy SATA cables to power your PCI risers. That's dangerous. Do not do that. Get beefy cables. It's just a lot of work. And then when I heard about CPU, it could be just as profitable, ROI, why not try it? I hooked into some Ryzen 9 3900s, they were under 400, I mean under 500. And again, like me, I'm always a little bit close to late to the game. And then the prices shot up, now they're coming back down on the Ryzen 9. So I ended up getting, man, I don't know how many I got. I got two and I ordered one. I, one I lucked out on was a, a couple days ago. And it was a new vendor on Amazon, and I got it for $4.99. I thought that was cheap, comparatively, because they're high fives. 
even eBay had high pricing, so it was ridiculous. Uh, so I got that coming, and I'm from my local USPS people. They seem to take my stuff and put it in other people's mailboxes. It's driving me nuts, and you have no recourse because it shows delivered, was left in person's mailbox, but it happens to be not your mailbox. Guess what? You are SOL. So we have flock pool, grant, our plan, all these things. I did 01, 01 data moved up, 011 data, whatever you want to call it. 011 data, I was using that. What happened a couple days ago is it dropped off the face of the earth. They had API errors. Uh, and I didn't know about it until I looked. I just looked at my screen and saw all these uh, could not connect, all this crap. I wasn't getting any coin. It was empty. It was zero. I said, what the? What is going on here? I switched over to raptorium.com. These are all using the XM rig miner. And that just wasn't producing anything either. And I think they ended up with an error. And I just went, what is happening here? They recommend splitting the wealth, you know, using other pools other than the big boy flock pool. I did. I was trying to be a good citizen, but at the end of the day, I was, I got, I didn't get anything out of it. It was like switched. In a nutshell, I basically switched off flock pool. I wasn't on it, and I was on other pools that weren't even doing anything. They were had API errors, so I went back to flock pool, paying the fees. I don't care one percent plus whatever the extra percent to the miner using CPU miner. I mean, you can either get nothing or you can get something and pay a fee. It's it was that debate at this point with Raptorium. And that's my perspective, that's my experience, that's what I went through. I switched everything back to Flockpool, it's there now. And I like the Flockpool UE, I know you're paying fees, right? But you're getting stuff. The nice thing about this is you can set your minimum payout. And I'll show you why in a second. Let's go over. Right there, all right. So here, I, I like setting 500, I don't make much because I have two Ryzen 9, 3900s and two uh, Ryzen 5s that don't do much. You can see right here. Let's see, where are my little miners at? There they are. You can see my, my, my workload here, my workers. So two, uh, two of the big boys are making the four kilohash, right? And then there's a uh, Ryzen 5 in the mix, two Ryzen 5s. And then the three and four are both laptops, believe it or not. I will say laptop mining is awesome. I don't care. If you can get a cheap laptop for under 1000 bucks, Lenovo, a Dell. Dell, you can get a 3060 uh, NVIDIA card in it. Uh, the Lenovo, I had a 1660. Laptop mining is awesome. It's low maintenance. Those things are, they're almost like consistent workers. I don't have any issue with them. They run no issues they get hot you can deal with the heat you just put them in you know configuration i got a little fan thing under the one which, feed, which feeds up air into the base of it and the other one i have is a teepee like an a sitting just to make sure the heat goes up and away but laptop mining is rock solid for me i love it uh so here we go that's what i'm making with raptorium that's what i got out there working and again it's not like some of these other guys you see out there with 50 Ryzen 9s and they're invested in 20,000 bucks a CPU. No, I'm doing what I can because I still got to pay the mortgage. Uh, so right now I'm at unpaid 283. My total, I'm going to zip back over. All right, we're sitting at, I made 1,100, not much. I mean, it's something, but it's not much. And you can see my payouts when I was on, flo uh, not flock pull. I was on uh, ra uh, crypto. Uh, raptorium.com and I was on 011 data I was getting paid out they dish out every 20 RTM collected but now with um, flock pull I just set it to 500 I'd rather have less transactions because if you know you got to report on this crap with the stupid taxes you, you know, it's better have less transactions to sit there all day going through well if I made it at this what was the price then and uh, you got to do all that accounting crap uh, but something to think of something to be mindful of is uh, record keeping right. So that's why I'm back on flock pool. The other two didn't work out for me. I don't want to have to worry about, uh, oh, it's Alan. I got to switch back. Because you, know, you got to go switch the miners. And that's, it's just a matter of logging into these machines and flipping. So maybe Hive OS has the benefit there where you're managing all your rigs from one spot. You can just flip the miner real quick. For me, I have to log in and just you know kill the one, start the other. It's maybe an extra step. And it's free versus Hive OS, which you pay for. 
a couple cents per server. It's your, it's a debate. How much is it worth to you? I got some new memory coming. I got one more CPU coming. I'll add to it. And then I think the plans for me are I'll be done. I'll be done right now with CPU mine just to see how it works out. And we're kind of in a uh, correction right now. Not financial advice, but the winners in life buy on the dips. Anyway, hey, I started a new Discord. And in there, I'm putting in product alerts where I get information on new drops on GPUs and other stuff like PlayStations and that, which is kind of fun because they're hard to get. It's a pain in the butt. And I got a videos I post and I got software stuff I post and a lot of crypto stuff, finance, like BlockFi, Voyager, how I'm going with that. And just general crypto, everything crypto, man, because it's a, it's a whole ecosystem environment out there. Go check it out and let's grow this community. Uh, pretty cool community. I like being part of it, like dealing with the other people. Everyone's very helpful. It's very helpful in general. Everybody wants everyone to succeed. And that's why I make these videos to help myself, chronolog everything I'm doing, and also help others. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm out. I got to go find that dog again.